Welcome back, Team Yap listeners, now Team Yap watchers. Uh, welcome into episode 10, our visual episode. I am your co-host, Chris Lavalette. And I am your co-host, Emily Brewer. Yeah, and uh, very great to be here, the big 1-0. Double digits, bro. Doing this for 10 episodes now, hard, hard to believe. I mean, I said this literally recently. <laughs> Monday just walked up to me like, hey, you want to take our Pokemon yapping to the studio? And now it's really in the studio. It's actually in the studio. Instead of like 10 feet over there, we're in the real studio. We had to do something special for 1-0. And yeah, um, we've been talking about this and teasing this for like months, I Since feel like. Since the beginning, I'm yeah. sure we've probably like listed out all the concepts of what yep. we wanted for the show. So, and I've had models sitting around in my apartment for that same Months. amount of time, I'd Months. say. I went out and bought a um, Gyarados model when we first discussed it, because I'm like, okay, that I gotta have a model just in case we're gonna do this. Yeah. And then I think you were the one who saw an Arceus model at the store that we like. Yep, and I saw it down there, and I, I think I'd seen it at a couple other places mm -hmm. too, but that, since then that one store is the only place I had seen it. Yep. Ever, and uh, thankfully it stuck around there. It did stick around, and I, I have been back since, and they have, put another one on the shelves. Um, but I was glad that he clued me into that because I have been um, obsessed, as listeners know, with Pokemon Legends Arceus for the past um, year or so. So I decided to pick out an Arceus and I actually brought both models to the studio today just in case, but. Indecisive. I was indecisive and I didn't know which one was gonna be harder, how much time we had. Who picked this out? That was Drew. Drew, our lovely, um, what do you call it? Um, director, camera operator. Director, camera operator, operator, tech wizard. Tech wizard, no. friend. <laughs> um, so thank you, Drew, because this is the one I wanted to do anyways. Thank you very much. So, <laughs> yeah, so, you know, we, it wouldn't be an episode of Team Yap without some yapping. No, of course not. Um, when we do have a little bit, we do have a little, just a little bit of stuff to go over. Yeah, so um, we're gonna, we're, we'll start with our usual kind of like flow of things, and then we'll go into the, the meat of, yeah. of the visual episode <laughs> and um, get started on the model. So do we wanna like keep these up here for like visual or yeah, set these aside? Okay. And, uh, and I'm not building both of these today. I've built the Charizard and the Dragonite is what'll be putting together. I was like, I, I wanted this for a bit because I'd seen it in a few places and like Dra uh, Charizard's one of my favorite Pokemon. I really like Dragonite. And so, yeah, I figured a two pack would be simple to build one of them. And that's pretty cool. I didn't realize that they came in two packs. Is that pretty common so, with the model? Sometimes. This is probably the most like intricate two pack mm -hmm. that I've had. Um, there's a Lucario and Raiolu that come together. The Lucario is a little bit more involved. Raiolu is effectively a statue with stickers on it. Okay. <laughs> um, and there's some more like that. There are some other uh, dual ones. Like there's a, actually funny enough, there is a Hydragon, Zwilus, and Dano. Um, all in one. one. Yeah. Interesting. All in one. Okay. I imagine they're all very simple uh, models. But That's pretty cool though. Um, so I'm excited. As am I. Um, but before that, Yep, we can't, we can't get into that quite yet. Wouldn't be team yap without the So, app. we have kind of said what we're doing today, which is gonna yap a little bit, take our models out. I'm. This is my first time building a Pokemon model. Um, I have seen Chris partially build one, because you built one here once. Yep, what built, was that? I built uh, what, what originally was going to be my actual model for this episode. I built that Greninja that I picked That's up. That's right. Yep. And that was a while ago. Cause it, yeah, because it was just a really dead day in the office, and so I was like, well, you most of my stuff is going or ongoing <laughs> yeah. on its own, so like, I can just sit down, bust this model out, bust it out, and quick, and it was real quick. It was like an hour and a half, maybe. And that was pretty cool, and so that, but it also like, made me a little nervous, <laughs> because there is more to this than I expected. Mm -hmm. Though, you know, at, you'll see on the packaging, I mean, you can't really see it here, there's these little symbols that basically say like, no glues needed, no paints needed. What's the other one? No tools are needed. Yeah. Chris does have some tools for us, because I think that just probably makes the process a it little just makes easier. A little bit easier. Yeah. Like you can. These are meant to be able to pull the parts off of the sprue and be able to snap fit it like that. But it doesn't come out as clean all the time or as sure. easily. So. Okay. So we'll get. Sorry, just also yeah. toothpicks for stickers because. Which is another interesting part of these models is that like, 
for eyes and details, that's not actually printed on. A lot of that's gonna be a sticker. Which is so fascinating. And I will, I was like, sticker, like that's cheap. That's kind of lame. But, you know, with your completed Greninja model, I was like, whoa, that actually looks yeah. really good. The, I'm surprised at like the quality for the stickers, the Pokemon models, they tend to be pretty good. Yeah. I mean, it's unfortunate because they're so good, at least the adhesive, that if you, <laughs> if you misalign it, it's gonna be real hard to fix that. Yeah. Um, like you have to be very careful or that yeah, sticker's gonna tear it's it apart. It's not gonna it come off. off. Yeah. Um, so that's fascinating. Um, I'm glad that you've brought tools because I don't have tools and I would have never thought to uh, have brought them nor would I have known what we'd need. So we're prepared. Anyways, there's been quite uh, a lot going on in the Pokemon world. That's for sure. In the past couple of days. Um, um, do we want to Start with Pokemon Go and just new stuff okay. in the game. Yep, let's start with Pokemon Go. Save <laughs> and then that, that'll be the last thing we talk about briefly before we move on to the models. But Pokemon Go, there's been a decent stuff um, going on. There's actually an event going on right now that I don't have on my notes. Yes, the Magnetic Study event. Yep. Um, and with the Magnetic Study, we can start there which reminds me I need to pull my game out before the end of the day and do all those tasks. I um, do too, actually. Because I didn't play yesterday, and um, luckily I already had a shiny plus hole. Mm. Um, I didn't get one. Well, so I decided to do what I could from home. So I was able to do all of the catch Pokemon requirements, mm -hmm. and then the evolve, I just couldn't spin the Pokestops, so I forego, or forewent those. And I ended up with another shiny plus hole, so. I was pretty pleased about that because my other one was not super high um, stats. Oh, but then that rem reminded me, I'm like, okay, girl, you gotta like pay attention because I don't have any shiny Magnemites and I don't have any shiny Minons. Is my, that how you my, say it? Minon would be the last one. Yeah. Um, so, interesting event. It's not a normal yeah. event. It's a little odd. It's because it's not like electric type related. It is specifically Plusle, Magnemite, and Minon. Yep. And it's sh like it's three days. I'm thinking about it now, and I'm realizing because plus or minus and positive, negative, and oh, magnet, it's so. a magnet. Yeah. So okay, that makes sense. That's, That's kind of smart and cute. Yeah, I I definitely also really want me a shiny magnemite. So yeah. I, I gotta get hard on and that. And get some this. field get some field re uh, research yeah. in on that as well. Um, so as many chances for shinies as we can get. Um, so that's a good reminder. Um, otherwise, we just um, had. Um, I guess let's start with Dynamax and how we're feeling about that. Um, I've done a power spot when I need an easy catch. Sure. Um, or if I get something that says, like, collect some uh, max particles from a power spot yep. or something like that. I, it's there. It is there, that's for sure. Um, something that we both have tried to do is solo a three-star. Um, to no avail. To no avail. No. We didn't, neither of us even made a dent. I think we both tried a Beldum, or did I, you try a Phalanx? I, I, did, a, I did a Beldum as yep. well. Yeah. Yeah. I, like, I brought in my, my three star uh, Dynamax capable Charmeleon, yep. went all in with a Max Flare, and it did like no damage. Yeah. And I spent all that, like, all those candies and stuff to like fully evolve like a couple of my Dynamax Pokemon, hoping yeah. that like, like that have, would be enough. I don't have boosts to those moves or anything like yeah. that, but it costs so much. It's super just to expensive. Do that. It's, it's actually kind like, of ridiculous. It's almost not worth it. I, I feel like it's almost not worth it to evolve them first. It's like boost their moves and then worry about evolving. Interesting. Them. Yeah. That's just me. But. I, um, well, then some other news came out about Gigantamax. Yep, and we got official confirmation that that'll be coming around, and we'll be getting, during the upcoming Wild Area event, Gigantamax Toxtricity in six-star power spots. And the fact that we can't even make a dent on three stars solo is a really, really bad sign. And you want to tell them about how many people you can have? So, in normal raids, Legendary raids, raids, whatever, even if you have a one star, you can have up to 20 people. In uh, Gigantamax raids, you can have a max of 40 people battling one Gigantamax Pokemon, which tells me that it is going to be impossible. Um, you can't remote invite people to nope, those. Nope. Because <laughs> they're not raids, yeah. Yeah, no. Um, 
what are the Dynamax, Gigantamax, uh, at least as far as we know now with Dynamax, those are in person. Yeah. And I believe the infographic also said that Gigantamax is also only in person, which means you like literally have to live in a big city or- Live in a big city, go to GoFest. Go to GoFest, be on like Discord, um, like, or any sort like of like- local Discord. Local special communities, whether it's on Discord or through Campfire, whatever. Like, you're not gonna be able to do that just with like the people that you normally play with. No. Unless you regularly play with a group of 40 people. <laughs> right. I certainly don't. I mean, I suppose it's not impossible. So, we'll see what happens with that, but um, I'm not looking forward to it. No, nope. nor am I. I'm not looking forward to seeing even more power spots on the map. It's like, that's great, I can't do that. Um, and even like, you know, last night when I was trying to do the research for the, um, Magnetic study. Mm -hmm. um, I had one uh, by my apartment, and I click on it, and it was nine fifteen, and it was like you can only do these battles between six and nine, and I was like, "That's right." Are you kidding me, bro? I forgot about the that fact part that too. they stay on the map because with raids, it's like they just disappear. They mm -hmm. go away. They have their timers. They leave. With these power spots, they stay on the map and taunt and tease you. <laughs> So I'm like, okay, great. I guess I'm doing that in the morning. <laughs> um, so I'm just not a big fan. I, I'm not happy about it. I'm not yeah, excited no, for am. it. And they are gonna lock Pokemon behind six stars. Like Well, yeah, no, that's that's the only way you'll or get even the, higher stars. That's I, the only way you'll get the Gigantamax forms. Like this is the only way they're gonna just That's what Eternatus we're yeah, that's what we down. were saying, Eternatus. So which blows. Unless so there's gonna have to be some pretty serious organizing. We're pretty lucky because where we're at. We actually do have a really, um, what's the word, active Pokemon Go community yeah. in the city. And a lot of them are. I've still never seen 40 people get together. <laughs> I have not, well, that one day, what was it? Was it Mewtwo that we were doing? We were That's doing it with true. a group of people and then another massive group of people came. So that might be, it was, it's probably doable here. I will say when I go back home and I do some stuff in Portland, mm -hmm. like on, um, go fast or raid days or whatever, it is so coordinated because they do have more than 20 people that are trying to get into these raids. So they have to do like um, run one, run two, run Gotta three. Exactly. So it's gonna be doable. Again, if you have, if you're in the right location, if you have the right community and it's just like not accessible. And that's what happens yeah. with all of their in-person stuff. Um, they definitely like cater towards bigger cities, people that can get out and about. And I mean, let's be real here. It's because all they, all Niantic wants is your movement data yeah. and where you are. And um, that's why Adventure Sync exists. That's why scanning Pokestops exists because they just want your data. Yeah. Um, so that's why they have all this in-person only stuff because they want you to get out and about. So, and not for health reasons, but <laughs> so they can steal your data reasons. Um, please don't come at us, Niantic. <laughs> we all know it's true. Um, it's just constructive criticism. Yeah, that they will never take into consideration. No. <laughs> so. Anyone from Niantic's watching the show? Maybe, we, we can't sell ourselves short. That's true, this. that's true. Um, Our reach could be far better. We, we could. Um, what else we got going on? Chris uh, has had some crazy shiny luck lately on Pokemon Go. I'd say, I'd say crazy, at least comparatively to like my lately, because like what happens for me is I'll get into, I, I have a streak of, I'll get like maybe a shiny a day for a few days. Yeah. Or maybe even like two shinies in a day or something like that. And then it's just nothing for a good, good while. <laughs> yeah. Um, but like what, recently I had come in. Shinx? On the way in, right the shiny shink, I think, no, it wasn't the same day. It was like the next day that I got, uh, so I got a shiny shinks, which has since been evolved into a shiny Luxray, which I love very much. Nice. Um, and then I got a shiny Absol, like the next day, right. day after something like that on the way into work. Um, which I was very happy about mm -hmm. that. Um, yeah, definitely plenty of other stuff around now that I would like to get some shinies of, though. So, like, I'd like that shiny look to keep on Yeah, let's, keep on let's rolling. Uh, Tons cross of our fingers and hope, oh, I know, Halloween event coming up. I, um... Anything in some special outfit, gimme. 
Yes, I'm very lucky. Last year I got a um, shiny pumpkaboo in an outfit, which I yep. like I to show one. off as my buddy because fitting. Um, but any outfit, any shinies in the outfit. Also, I would like, I have one shiny, why am I, why am I blanking, blanking on? You can do it. Ghastly. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say galaxy. <laughs> um, I have one shiny ghastly. That is like terrible stats, and so I've I've not um, evolved it because I would rather have a good stat one to evolve to be a shiny mega um, Gengar. Yeah, I get you. So I've been waiting, and I'm hoping for that. But I also I only need two more badges to be uh, to get platinum, um, which is Ghost and Dragon. Mm. So I'm hoping with the Halloween event, I, I think I need like 300 more um, ghosts. Jeez. Well, to, I mean, now it's time to do it. Yeah. So, um, my eternal problem is running out of Pokemon storage space and having a digital hoarding problem and not being able to uh, part with these pieces of code. Well, Pokemon Home exists. That is so true. Oh my god, I forgot about that. So maybe I should do. Th- maybe <laughs> I should do that because I do. As if you listen to this podcast, you know that my Pokemon storage is maxed out. Maxed out. My bag storage is maxed out. Like. I don't fuck around with that. It's like, always going to be maxed out because the instant they come out with the expansion. I buy them immediately. Because they usually come out with 500. So maybe for the wild area they might release more spots. Mm, um, but it's usually tours. So go tours or like the region tours in the past is when they've um, increased the storage. So mm. we'll see if that happens. I do jump on that immediately when it does. <laughs> um, so yeah, speaking of shinies, with the Galarian Expedition um event um galarian say that again with the dogs uh, oh Zashian well zashian and zamazenta came back to raids i didn't get anything good i didn't get any shinies that sucks but galarian birds on the daily incense can now be shiny yes they can and have i encountered a galarian bird <laughs> since they can be shiny let's ask the audience yes it's it's no the answer is no I so didn't. You encountered one. one? It wasn't shiny, but yeah. yeah. Got a what gla- was it? Got a Galarian Moltres. That's Did like, you? That's like the one that always pops up for me now. Really? No, I didn't catch it. See, I still only have Galarian Zapdos, which I caught with my Master Ball, and is a one star. Yeah. I, I, well, I did the same thing. I don't remember what stats mine are, but yeah. I did exactly like the first one I ever saw was Galarian Zapdos. We should lucky trade our Galarian Zapdos is... We we got too much we want to I do with lucky trades between I know. the two of us. That's like, true. We want I want to the driftloons. We've, we've been waiting on our lucky trades because I want a lucky shiny driftloon that he has. What did you what do you want? I don't remember what you want. I don't know. I, have a lot I don't remember what from. I wanted lucky, but I, mainly it was the getting you the driftloon. Mhm. We should we should consider mirror trading our Galarian Zapdoses because be cool. when they're lucky, that way we can be like, all right. Our fuck-ups. Though <laughs> I do recall yours being pretty good stats, but not like it was probably like a two star. Such high stats that you wouldn't want to mirror trade it. So uh, we'll see. Because I think it would probably we would want to make sure that the stats you have couldn't be any like if you lucky traded it, like, it couldn't end up being lower than right. what you have. Um, so like if it was a three star, I wouldn't bother with that. But um, yeah, so. I would like a shiny. I mean, the only reason I'd like a shiny is because I know that they won't flee. And I do yep. have like a million um, Pokeballs. And yeah, so, so we'll have to worry about I will running. stand there for two hours, <laughs> however long it takes me to catch one. I know I probably won't run out. And if I do, that will be the end of my Pokemon Go um, experience. If you, if you found a shiny, one of the Galarian birds, and then and you I, managed I, to And I ran out balls. of all of my Pokeballs, I would. Uninstall the game. I think if right that happened, there. it would be Niantic telling you stop. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Niantic better not tell me to stop because I, I single handedly fund their pockets. That's so <laughs> think of that. Think about that, Niantic. Um, I think the last thing, I think that's all Pokemon Go I wanted to talk about. Is there anything you wanted to talk about, Pokemon Go? Nothing comes to mind specifically. Okay. One of the things we had discussed previously um, is Chris. Doing a, a type lock nuzlocke. Yep. Um, and that is it's definitely still something I want to do. I yep. haven't started on it yet. 
I still, because I'm, I was thinking about it, and I'm, har- I'm a little stuck on needing to kind of flesh out the rules for myself mm. because I want to do Pokemon Violet. Okay. Uh, but the problem being that traditional Nuzlocke rules requires like hard set routes so that you can mm. set like, okay, I'm in a new area now, I can catch a new Pokemon. Yep. Um, but it's like with Scarlet Violet, Paldea, it's kind of like. What is it? It's it's like divided into four sections, and those four sections are divided into like four subsections or something like that. Uh, And it's not entirely clear where the separations are. Because it's not your traditional Pokemon map; like it's open world. Exactly. Um, So I, I'm I'm thinking what I might do is try and find some way to limit the areas, like, like geologically, what I can catch in a given time frame. Yep. But more specifically, (laughs) it might end up being um, the. It might end up being a thing of like. I'll set myself a certain amount of Pokemon that I'm allowed to catch as, like, tokens, and then I will go find something that fits my type restrictions or Mm -hmm. something like that. Or maybe I'll use, like, a randomizer wheel or something of that variety. I'm not sure. And I found there's a Nuzlocke subreddit, and people will, like, share their own rules so that you can, like... Oh, yeah. ...do that and stuff. And so I was looking at that, and then, like, a pretty classic Nuzlocke rule is if your Pokemon faints, it's gone. You can't use it again. That is, is like, the big one. Would you do that? Oh, absolutely. Interesting. I have definitely done in the past where, like, I've played a Nuzlocke, and it's like I'm playing by myself and whatever. So it's (laughs) like, I don't want this one to go. It didn't didn't die. It's fine. Um, But, yeah. Yeah. Um, Okay. Traditionally, it's like... You can only catch one Pokemon per area that you go to. You can only, um, or uh, once a Pokemon is fainted, it's considered dead. You got to put it in the PC or release it. Uh, and then another thing, which I think tends to be an optional one, but it's not optional. Nickname every single Pokemon, which I do anyway. Yep. Um, builds more emotional attachment. Okay, I'm too sentimental them. for this. I can't, because <laughs> see, I was thinking about doing the same thing, and I actually did make a new save file on Violet, and like, attempted to start it, but, like, as, a, like, a very relaxed, like... I mean, yeah, you can just call it a challenge run. It doesn't have to be a Nuzlocke. Sure, yeah. Like, and, like, be, like, one type, which is... I was I had decided on dark. Um, and then I realized how incredibly long and boring starting a Pokemon game can be, particularly Pokemon Violet. They don't lend themselves well to, like, at least the very beginning for replayability. Yeah. So... Um, I gave up on that and started playing Legends Arceus again. Um, hence my model here. <laughs> so um, we'll see We'll see what happens there. Maybe I'll do some sort of Nuzlocke in Legends Arceus because I did start a new save file there. I saw somebody on TikTok uh, streaming and he was just using the original 151 Pokemon in Arceus. Um, so that's a thought. But you could do type there too, I suppose. But it's so not traditional, and like it's so. Oh yeah, no, like it, it breaks on apart from. Pokemon. Actually, you can't even do that because you have to. Um, you have to increase your like point. I guess you could, because like if you it, just. It would just be a thing of like restricting yourself from using. Them. Using them, I see. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm not. I'm not as into that. I think as I am. Like right now, goal has always been since I finished Arceus to shiny hunt and uh, perfect the decks. So I'm back on the perfecting the decks grind. We were just talking about this the other day. I'd like to get that done um, before Legends of ZA comes out, uh, which should hopefully, I'd like to come out mid-2025. I don't want them to rush it. I don't yep. want it to come out I'm, like January I'm hope- I'm or anything like that. Like a, I, I'm hoping we get like maybe a, a May. That would I, be I mean, nice. like, I don't think we really see like those kinds of time frame releases from them at all. But yeah. I would really like to see like a like a May June yeah. kind of thing. Really let it cook. Yes, for sure. So we'll see. We'll see what the Pokemon Company does. Um, game and, Freak. And then speaking of speaking Game Freak. Speaking of Game Freak. Not gonna go super into detail on things because I mean, frankly, it's it, it, as as much as I do like to hear about some things and some news and stuff can be fun. <laughs> It's also very unfortunate when like big, big data breaches like this happen and personal information gets oh sure yeah set out into the wild like employee info and stuff like that was included 100%. in there and well, in other news, they don't call them game normal, they call them game freak for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> this was the freak leak. Um, so 
I, like like Chris said, we're not really going to get into it. We may in, in a couple epi- episodes, like because I mean there was an incredible, incredible amount of information leaked. Like terabytes worth. Terabytes worth of data and information. So, sorry, a terabytes. Well, worth, but still, that's it. A might lot. as well. It might as well be multiple because there is so much data that got leaked. It's a lot. And so, um, like. Scrapped models. Um, scrapped Pokemon. Scrapped Pokemon. Beta, like concept art. All sorts of stuff. Beta um, builds and source codes for games. Yeah. Yep. Um, so, essentially what happened was the rumor, I don't know if this is confirmed, that a Game Freak employee clicked on a phishing That's what's going link on. in an email. Which, I mean, to be fair, that is all it takes. That is all it takes. That is all it takes. So, don't... Don't click on an email and make sure you um, know what you're clicking on if you do. Because this can happen. <laughs> Stay safe out there, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we did just want to acknowledge that because that is like huge Pokemon news. But um, when it first came out, I, I even like ignored it because I'm like, I don't have the like brain capacity <laughs> to even like take any of this in right now. Um, so, yeah. That is, that's, I mean, people are going crazy over it. It's all over TikTok. It's all over Twitter. It's all over Twitter. It's filling up my Twitter. Like, and, and people are having all sorts of feelings about it, especially like certain lore things that were cut for reasons. Yeah. And, uh, certain lore stuff that it's just like, why does this even exist? Internet's (laughs) having a field day. Yeah. They're enjoying themselves. Lots of memes have come out of this. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. Um, so, oh, um, um, yeah, and just partially related, but just because of the meme or kind of meme that I showed you earlier, uh, you can now with Pokemon Home, it's only for yeah. Scarlet and Violet at the moment. But if you were to fill your entire Pokemon Home Pokedex for Scarlet and Violet, and that includes the Indigo Disc and Teal Mask DLCs, you can get a shiny Meloetta for the first time it's available. I think first time. Pretty exciting. So, I mean, that's kind of cool. As I told Chris, I would never do that myself. I mean, if you happen to have a living (laughs) Dex in your Scarlet Violet game and both DLCs, then... Might as well send it to home. Send it into home, get a Meloetta. Can I ask you a question? If you send something into home, can you send it back? I know you can't with Pokemon Go. Um, It... I... Yeah, yes, because I think besides Go... Everything else can freely transfer between itself. It just formats the Pokemon. For the game. I, I think they, because it used to be no. Okay. But I think besides Pokemon Go, it is, like with the current games on the Switch, like, you know, Let's Go, um, Arceus even, uh, Sword, Sword Shield, Scarlet yep. Violet. I think it is, like, you can switch, you can send it between all of them through home. Okay, interesting. It's just it will format it for whatever game it's going to well, go Well, that's into. good to know. I've never forayed into Pokemon Home. Something about it scares me, which I know is like the opposite of what it's there for because I, people often transfer their stuff. Yeah, it, people transfer their things into Home to like keep them safe. Like particularly if you have like cloud save games mm-hmm. and you're worried about like your Nintendo Switch like breaking or something. Yeah. Um, which it will always be my regret is purchasing Arceus as a digital, digital download and not as a file. So um, luckily it seems like they're um, downloading, um, or not downloading, um, am, am I remembering this right? So ZA is going to be available for the Switch 2 and the Switch that's out now? Well, that again, that was something based on leaks. Sorry, cords are getting... Um, oh. <laughs> I a, hit the phone. We have a caller. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you tell him new to the studio? Um, so the that came out as part of the leak a little bit. Of, oh, that came out as part of the leak a little bit. Um, the, it seems like there see, is a a build for the Switch One. Okay. I don't think they were able to confirm or have confirmed so far if it's going to be Switch 1 and Switch 2. But it, it's confirmed that there, a build exists for the Switch 1 okay. and a build exists for the Switch 2. I really hope that's the case because I don't want to buy a Switch 2. I really, I would hope that it's got to be available for the Switch 1 because, like, 
Switch 2. How does like, with like the PS, with the PlayStation and the Xboxes, how does like retroactive like games work recently? Like with the PS5, I know usually if you buy, if a game comes out on the PS5, you can't play it on the PS4 typically. Right, you can't play a PS5 game on PS4. PS4 games, you can play on the PS5. Okay, that's, that's, um, so I'm hoping It's not that always that the companies will do the backwards compatibility and stuff like that. That's the word I was looking for, yep. Um, cause like, for example, um, or well, no, that's not an example. I was, I was about to say, but it's literally exactly what we were just talking about uh-huh. with the, like, you can't play a PS4 game in a PS5. Yep. You can't play, like, a 3DS game in a regular DS. Sure, but you can play a regular that's DS that's because they have a little a extra tab on there. Yeah, yes. yep. Okay, all right, interesting. Well, please, please don't do that. I don't want to buy a new Switch right now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, I think it's time okay. to model. Time to model, time to... Get into the thick of it. America's next top model. Um, (laughs) (laughs) America's next top model builder. Um, So, I did kind of hint to this a little bit, or said it outright, which is, I've never built a um, Pokemon model before, but I have, I do have experience with somewhat building Warhammer models. So. This isn't completely foreign to me, Mm -hmm. but the model building that you don't need glue or like nippers, I know you have them, but like that's not, I'm not used to that. So I'm actually really excited. Warhammer is very not snap fit. Yes. At least for the most part. I think currently it might be. Maybe, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not into Warhammer. Warhammer is also like incredibly expensive. It is. I don't recommend. (laughs) Um, And so Chris. Chris has a lot of experience with model kits. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, uh, I've been building model kits for a good few years now. My first one ever was, it was like just after I turned 18. Um, it was the Gundam Kimaris from Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans, high grade. Uh, high grade, that's a thing. There's different like, grades of Gundam models. Um, it's like difficulty, complexity, size. Mm-hmm. Um, and so majority of my stuff in my shelf is all taken up by Gundams. That has always been my thing for ever. And I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Like I love just busting out a kit and tuning out to everything for hours. I'm just gone and then it's built. Hell yeah. And I'm sad because I'm done. Then you need another um, one. And then I need another one and more <laughs> and more and more. Um, so yeah, I've done, I've done Gundam. I've done uh, plenty of Pokemon ones now. This, uh, I don't even know what one it's, this is going to be at this point. But as I said before, I built the Charizard that's in here. I built a Rayquaza, a Greninja, uh, a Metagross, Lucario and Raiolu. Um, I think I, I think that's it. Um, and those were all super fun. But, oh, a Gengar as well. How could I forget? Um, my Ghost Boy. Uh, and then another one, 30-Minute Missions, which is like Gundam-esque, kind of like model-building Lego, sort of, in that, like, they're mecha kits that come with option parts and all okay. sorts of things that are, like, very modular and that's super cool. customizable kind of thing, which I'm super into. Anyway, that's a whole Some other thing. Some of these actually come with, like, options. Yeah, so, well, with these you'll get, uh, actually, this one doesn't have any, but you'll get, like, option parts and, um, like, the Greninja that I had mm-hmm. actually has, like, a different, a foot that's bent at a different angle for different types of poses or, like, the, uh, the Rayquaza that I had. It comes with a stand, quote unquote, but it's just like a cloud, like molded plastic that you just rest it in. That's kind of cool. That's cool. So yeah, some of them, they will have like special effects that they come with too. Oh, like the Lucario and Rayo I had too. They had an aura sphere that comes with a tiny little stand. Oh, I like that. Um, I don't think, I don't think there's anything special about mine. Yeah, these guys didn't come with anything in particular, just, just their good old selves. So I'm excited to get into this. I yeah. think I think we should just like jump in. Absolutely. Um, down. I'm curious to know, and I will just also note that um, there's going to be some level of. I know it might cause glare, so I'm gonna. Yeah, I think it's There might be I, some level idea. of um, non engagement during this. <laughs> May get a little focused. During this. May uh, get a little process. like into it. Um, I know I certainly tend to. I've had enough experience to know that I get into it and I'm locked in. Uh. I will say, this is like, there's a lot going on here, but it seems doable. What I get nervous about is I don't have a, I'm not good at following directions. Mm. Um, 
So I have not looked at this yet, and I'm looking at it now, and I'm scared. <laughs> it's um, fine. Okay. You're fine. It'll be fine. So we're going to try our best, and I'm going to try my best. Hopefully the glare isn't too bad, but... Oh, you got a lot of stickers. Sticker sheet. Well, yeah, because the because the whole two-pack thing, so Charizards oh. are all gone now. See, I only have... Um, so you got Dragonites here at the bottom. I only have Arceus's eyes. Um, what? So, yeah, I think the rest is no stickers. See? All right, I'm mad. <laughs> so I'm actually glad about that because... Wait, no, that that's is good. That's so good. funny. The sticker... The, the, how sheets, they're lined up. That's hilarious. Yes, it is. Uh, oh. Um... Yeah, so mine are just um, eyes. And God bless Drew, well, our cameraman. You. He is just... <laughs> killing it. I, Absolutely killing he it. He is killing it. Um, so thank you to Drew. We're able to just sit here and oh my do our gosh. thing. No interruptions whatsoever because he is a saint. Um, so I guess maybe if you want to tell me a little bit about your process as you get started. Yeah, sure. So um, I only have the one bag here, which I'll go ahead and tear into. Keep it away from the mic. Oh, you only have one? Yep. <laughs> Interesting. I, I'm thinking that, oh, wait, there's numbers on them that yes. I see that yes. correspond to the numbers. Oh, I don't even have to say anything. She's learning. Wow. <laughs> They really make it easy for you. And I know I'm still gonna screw this up. So, let me open mine so we don't have to deal with plastic noises for very longer here. So my, my little Arceus eyes, so cute. Um, I have a weird, is this, do you have this? What is this? What is that? Oh, that is, that'll be your stand oh, for okay. you. Oh, okay. Because so mine should be able to stand perfectly fine on his own. Arceus is, or Arce has some problems. <laughs> Might have some needs, problems. He needs some assistance, <laughs> so. That is okay. Just needs a little support, that's all. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. So, ooh, I just moved the desk. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, goodness. Okay. Don't break the framing. I know. All right. Okay, everything's out of there. We're in the clear. I'll go ahead and hang on to this toothpick for my stickers. Okay. Um, I will barely need that toothpick, but <laughs> I will use it. So right, I, you I can already, I can kind of see here, like, we've got, like, Arceus's head going on. Um... Uh -huh. It's cool because you can already, you can kind of see, like with Chris's model, like you can see the wings. And I can see why you need the stickers because it's all one color. Yep. So this is pretty cool. Um, like, as you can see, there's my, there's a B, B1 and B2. And yes, they're, they're broken up into like, you know, alphabetically, they'll be num uh, labeled here uh, so that it makes it easier for the instructions. So I need to, so I guess, so. Would, did you want me to start quickly so that? You start and tell me what your process is right. and how you typically dive into this. So um, poke, with my Pokemon models, it's a little bit different than how we'll do a Gundam, something like that, because the Pokemon, they're more you know, unique body types. The Gundam, yep. you're more, you got the more stylized, just humanoid mecha robot kind of sure. deal. So with those kind of things, I'll do, usually I'll do like the torso, build both arms at the same time, both legs at the same time, because it's real easy, identical parts to get those Mm -hmm. um, and then it's just building them to go on either side of the thing. With these, I will just go meticulously through it. Uh, usually, like in a case of having like two arms, two legs all th that are like separate yep. this way, I will probably do um, each of them at the same time uh, or like very quickly in succession of the, of the other. Is that not how it is in the instructions? Not always, okay. or at least um, Gundam instructions, definitely they'll, they'll tell you specifically like, you are building the left leg. Okay, now you're building the right leg. Okay. okay now you're, okay. Like, Interesting. that kind of thing. So I will just go ahead and start cutting away. Um, general general practice, uh, I know I see on YouTube, like a lot of model builders, they like to cut, so they will take this and they will cut the gate here first. Okay. To make it easier but for better control. I personally find I have an easier time holding my whole sprue to like get in underneath and it, I, I feel like I just have a lot more support sure. for the parts when I'm cutting like that and I will cut. And I know if any other model makers are watching this, they will get nervous because I cut right up against the part. Not, probably not supposed to really do that, but. I know like I'm with, with the, my experience with Warhammer, like part of it is like 
one of the tools that you use is a file. And, yes. And is that something you've done in the past with your models? <laughs> that is okay. not something that I have done because it does, You there is a little bit of like a, you know, there can be a tiny little nub mark, but the, sure. the camera's never going to see it. Right. So, um, like, you can tell right there. Oh, yeah. Tiny little nub. That's but also cool. sometimes the plastic is just, like, I mean, it cuts so easily, it's good enough that you can kind of just take your nail and... Well, it's interesting because it's like this just... It was already kind of coming off, so it just came out. Oh yeah, and and, and that is the thing with these ones too. It's uh, they the parts are meant to be just yank them off, and you're good to go. Oh, interesting here. So, um, like I'm doing right now with these antennae. I see. So, I must not have an. Oh, I do have B. So, oh, I see now. So this is labeled. Wait, which camera am I? This has an A. <laughs> yep. So all of this gray stuff is A, and then... The yellow stuff is actually also A. Really? Interesting. So this whole thing is A. That whole thing is A, yeah. So you'll see, um, like mine here is separated out like this. Yep. And usually this is a good indicator too, like these little rings that have I these... I see. Because this means that they can separate these two. Okay. And run them as separate sprues entirely, like if they needed to produce... So it looks like mine doesn't have those. Mine is... Done differently. So yours are just the one. Yeah. She is okay. all the parts. All right. Um, all right. Let's see. I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. We just we just go. We have fun. We do have. We're gonna have fun. And so, I. I'm gonna have fun right now with some stickers. I wonder. Already. So it is. You can you, break it with tool, without tools. Yep. I am gonna use. It's the just up to personal preference. So right now I'm dealing with stickers. Uh, the eyes from my Dragonite, which what I'm doing is the instructions tell me to put the head together before I apply the eyes. I'm going to not do that because that gives me more control down flat on the table like so. I go in to lay down my sticker. And then I will use the toothpick to just move it around, line it up. Press it into place. Rather than getting my oily fingers all over it. I might need your assistance when I get to the eyes, which is actually pretty soon. No worries. So there's half a Dragonite head with an eye. That's pretty cute. Hold that up. Oh, he's sweet. He actually it actually already almost looks like Dragonite, and oh. it is half of a face <laughs> with one eye. Um, so let me see, wait, so this is B. I, I already started by cutting out the wrong thing first. Um, <laughs> it's all good. I'm getting way ahead of myself here. So I need A4. Oh, it's his eyes. I see where the sticker's supposed to go. And that I do very much like because these, they give you very good indication and I thought my sticker disappeared for a second. Uh oh. It just went into the second dimension. <laughs> uh, and by that I mean it flipped around so I couldn't see it from the side angle. Um, they actually, oh no, did I just mess this up? See, this is why talking is bad. I'm distracting Chris. Uh, <laughs> well, okay, he's going to have a little bit of a line under one of his eyes, but that's fine. He'll still be cute. He'll still be adorable. It's great. It's fine. B1, oh. oh, I see, B2. So now, ah, it's, it's making sense now. Oh, no, you can really tell. Let me see him. Well. What am I supposed to be looking for? Never mind. It's not as bad as I thought. That eye is slightly crooked. And like. Oh, that. see, we're our worst critics. I can't even see that. And it just looks like a cute Dragonite. And I will know forever now that that is like that. And you can blame me. <laughs> no, I'm going to just torture myself over it. Whoopsies. Okay. I'm going and now, slowly here. And now I'm here right now just yanking out these antennae. Because you can totally just do that. I just personally prefer not to. Okay. Oh, oh here. Although doing that. No, you're good. Um, I already, I just need to put these in now and I'll have another sticker to contend with. Now I, now here's the, my serious thing. My first sticking something together. 
I did also just, because I yanked them out like that without, like, really looking at it, I forgot which side was supposed to go on which, but we're good. Oh. I put my first piece together. Let's go! Dude. Oh! That's pretty exciting. Okay. A1. I can, Chris, I can see how you really get into the zone here <laughs> with this. It does, it does, like kind of consume you. Oh yeah, I just disappear into it. Do you ever like listen to, like do you watch or listen to something while you're doing this? Mostly I will, actually I was doing a lot of model building during my run through One Piece. Nice. So that's how I was able to catch up so quickly was just have the dub on while I built some stuff. Cool. Um, but then mostly yeah, it'll be like, I'll just throw on some music and real chill time, but uh, I'll take the yapping over that. Fun. Yeah, this is cool. Um, I'm so like this is actually like really intuitive and like I'm enjoying the no glue aspect because the glue that you typically have to use for a model kit is like not it's not like industrial grade, but it smells bad and like it's some pretty serious glue. Oh boy, I have a very fun sticker to put on. What the hell is that, the mouth? Yeah, well, it's the, like, underside of his, it's like the roof of his mouth. I see. Have you ever run into pieces not fitting? Like, they just won't? Yeah. Yeah, it usually it tends to be, like, because I didn't cut it out, uh, or, like, because the connection is, um, or where it was cut out, is sitting where the connection has to sit so it won't sit flush or it won't mm -hmm. fully go in. That's usually when I run into that sort of thing and then it's just a matter of trying to shave down the, the nub mark as much as I can. I can't even tell if I put this in right because it's such a weird, weird sticker. It's a very tiny piece. I'm gonna just lock this in right there and pray that's right. Also, the antenna fell off. You've got some serious stickers over there, bro. I know. Don't worry, I this took stock of that. This is my reminder to like not pick ones that have <laughs> a bunch of stickers. But I guess we'll never know and with I, that. Well, I think, I think you should be able to see on the box. Because these ones, they do a better job. Like they'll show you even the sprues on the box. Gundam ones don't do that. Oh. I love the like, atten oops, sorry, I'm, I'm like not in the camera. I love the <laughs> attention to detail on these models. It's oh, so hard looks, to see because it's white. That looks white. so good. Um, but like sliding that little yellow piece in there, oops, I'm like playing with my, I forgot we're like being filmed. Yep. And so I'm like This is a production. <laughs> I'm so sorry, audience. Okay, um, uh-oh, it's sticker time. Oh boy. And they do, they tell you to put in the eyes after? Completing the head? Yes. Hmm. So it says, line up the stickers with the shapes with an exclamation point. I'm nervous. So, so remind me. So I'm going to take this off. So, well, so how I'll recommend it. Okay. Uh, this to is why we have the toothpicks. Tooth tooth so that you don't uh, press it, the adhesive directly to your skin. Okay. Because that, the oils will uh, make I it start see. by coming off. It won't stay correctly. And then I will just like carefully layer it over as best I can, line it up. And they do a decent enough job of leaving like some guideline, outline, indentation sometimes. My hands are shaking. Yeah, it's really. Fuck. So um, what I like to do, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm not no, trying to. No, um, If you can like. I need all See advice. if you can get a good like handle on it, like up against the table because then that's one less hand shaking so much. I wonder, it's so hard because you see the little like, in like it's recessed. Do you want me to try and get the first one? I want to try it. All right, you got this. I think I can. In the meantime, I will. A221 and B12. A221. So like right now in these parts, I am just pushing down where the part is connected. Uh, to the sprue, and that works just fine for getting it released from it. Um, 
again, it's just not my preferred method. That's actually how I used to, I'm completely forgetting now, that is how I used to build model kits just in the beginning. How was, how? Um, I didn't have nippers for a <laughs> long time. So what I would do is I would literally just do exactly that and not <laughs> many kits are, like Pokemon ones are meant to just pop out, but yep. my Gundam ones, they, uh, you no, know, you, you're meant to have nippers for them. You're meant to have tools properly for them. Um, they are still just snap fit, but so the, that, I, yeah, I would use, so I would use my thumb and I would use um, an X-Acto knife to just clean oh, up wow. whatever. And that led to also accidentally cutting some parts I'm, of my model. I am sure. <laughs> They're going to say some parts of you. Be one, two. No, <laughs> thankfully no. I've never gotten myself really while building a kit. Um, you know. Knock on wood. <laughs> Because, I mean, I'll, I still plan to be at this for a good long while. B1, 2, am I? All right, I'm pretty impressed by that. Where's my brain? <laughs> where's, where's my brain? That wow, looks great. We did it. Looks great. We did it, bro. Okay. The toothpick move is ingenious. Okay, I'm yes. done. I will I'm, take sole credit for done it. I'm with my model. <laughs> There's nothing else left to build. I, I did it all. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> we okay. got a little bit more work to do. Five. So now we need A17. All right, so now I'm taking this. I'll go in here. Yep, that's, oh, that's how we're doing it. Okay. So something with these two, the Dragonite and the Charizard. Mm -hmm. The Charizard had a, like how it was built. It had a mechanism for the wings. So like when you would uh, move one back, they would just both flap oh. together. They're, these are very like simplistic models, but I'm I'm imagining the Dragonite here probably has a similar thing because it seems like that's how I'm constructing the arms here. Yep, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm grabbing the wrong sprue for the next parts I need. So this is interesting because this is A17 is in step five and six, and there's two pieces. Mm. B1 six and B1 five. Pulling out the wrong wing. Instructions ask for the other one. Oops, that one's already coming right off, okay. Although I may as well get you out of there. There we go. All right. Oh, yep, that just came right out, okay. It's all good. Things now happen. Now I don't know which is which. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay. Yep. All right. Is that like the, the sides of the body? Yes. On the bright side, you're not going to get a thing like that where you try to fit something in. It fits in, but it wasn't uh -huh. correct. And like there's rarely sometimes, you know, an identical part, you put it in upside down. Um, but stuff like this is generally very low risk in terms of the actual fit. And uh, like I said, a lot of this is very intuitive and like you can figure it out pretty well with these directions. These directions are actually not that bad. Yes, I like I, actually like looking at like looking at them at first and being like, holy shit, I've never done this before. <laughs> that was scary. But can like, be very daunting. This is definitely like not that bad. All right, I need a better angle for this. How am I going to do this? It's interesting. Yeah, like he's, <laughs> I'm not even thinking about it. I'm getting right in there. <laughs> oh, come on. Because if there's anything I really don't want to mess up, it's these the st wing stickers. You got some serious stickers over there, bro. No. What'd you lose? A little tiny yellow piece, which I knew was gonna happen at some point. We got it back. Oh, sweet. All right, come on. Perseus is just full of these yellow lines, which I have never noticed before. <laughs> the body going on here. You know, it's funny, you only notice those little details when you have to put them on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. Okay. All right, slightly, slightly borked Dragonite wing. 
Let me see. But a Dragonite wing nonetheless. Oh, that's not bad. Good job. Thanks, I did it myself. <laughs> oh. Okay. Come on. I don't fully understand how this is supposed to go, so I'm just trying it. I like the like snapping in quality of a lot of these. It's very satisfying and it tells me that I'm doing it right. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Give me that instant gratification. Yes. And I will excel. Oh, the one mess thing, messed up thing about Pokemon models that they will do, and I don't understand why, why they do it, they have stickers for the bottom, for the underside of the feet. The underside of the feet? The underside of the feet. We, we got stickers for the soles. And they're, but they're going to be standing, so that's so interesting. Is it just in case exactly. you want to display it differently, I suppose? But that's the thing, you can't really. <laughs> or, well, at least you... you Strange. You could, but there's no, like, connections on these. I, I know from building the, the, mm -hmm. the, uh, the Charizard, there's no... Connections for a stand. I mean, you could get one of those ones that has just like an open claw. Yep. They're very Ooh. light, so it would easily hold them. That was a that snap. That was an intense snap. That scared me. But I'm doing it right. <laughs> so. All right. Wings. Done. Do you want three? Wait. Now I take one of these wings. Oh, I got okay, now this is an interesting part of the instructions. Follow the numerical order. One, two... One, two. Oh. Let's see, oops. Did you get out? Is it on the floor? Oh, I see. it's all. It's under there. Oh no. It's fine. I'm. I'm like. It's I, reachable. Oh boy. I hope the mic sounds fine after this. It's okay. You'll be all right. Drew will tell us if not. Oh. All right. There we go. It's been acquired. Do you want? Okay. All good. All good. All good. B1, three. Great. Now that goes back in. How did that go in again? Right, and that's how I can tell that this is going to be like, there's going to be a mechanism that when you fold the arms up and down, they both go. Uh-huh. Because this part doesn't, like, fit in. It just sits in for now. There's no click. There's no snap. Uh, Interesting. Because it's going to connect to the other side of it is the thing. Oh. Or B two eight. Oops, I did that wrong. I love when people come in here and they ask if we're on the air. <laughs> they have no idea what's going on. Because <laughs> it's like no, this is not the normal content. That no, gets not here, even close. So. <laughs> <laughs> this is very special. Well, that was another me. reason that I was so like jazzed to do this when you pitched it. Because totally. like, it's I mean, just it's very so visual different. and engaging. Oh, I meant the show as a whole. Oh, book, oh, team, yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, this is interesting. So I want it to be positioned up. Well, I mean, we were we were talking Pokemon anyways. Yeah. And so, um, uh. figured why not? I can't like steady my hand Dude. enough to. Look at this guy. Oh, he's coming together great. He's coming together. <laughs> he's looking awesome. Okay. Oh, there we go. That's what keeps you in then. Good. And that is my first page of instructions done, <laughs> which means I have a thousand more. Oh, come on now. Things to do. It's okay. not that much. Now that I have the hang of it, it shouldn't be that much. Uh, let's see. So I have that. B2, 10. What's B2 for me? I've like been like commandeering these nippers, so. No, you're good, you're absolutely good. This actually works out great because they're, I mean, again, I'm so much more used to this, so like doing that, I'm fine with popping out the Dragonite parts. Okay. Um, 
Especially, like I said, this is how I used to just build my model kits when they're sure. not supposed to be built like this. <laughs> <laughs> so, actually works out perfectly great that you only had the two stickers and then you can just use the nippers yes. for everything else. And as I'm talking, forgetting where this part goes, it goes here. I know. See, I understand <laughs> why you're saying we probably won't talk much. And then I've been yapping your ear off. It's all good. It, it, it's good that one of us is doing it. <laughs> A3. Two seventeen. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. What no, happened? No, nothing happened. I'm just now realizing where this is going. Oh. <laughs> Like, yeah, okay, okay, that's kind of cool. Um, the mechanism does not just control the arms. What's it, what does it do? The wings, too? Oh, the head! Oh, it's that's like so the mouth. cool! And that's really cool, like just a simple little thing like that in this tiny little very simple model. That is awesome. I, that's aw. Oh. Just little, like, little plastic mechanisms you put together yourself. So cool. These are actually, like, incredibly complex, too. Like, if you think about it. They're pretty simple for model kits, mm -hmm. but just in general. Oh, yeah, on their own. Like, if you were to, like, because, what, these are meant for ages, what, and up? Six and up. Yeah, no, I, six-year-old me was not doing this. Ain't no. <laughs> That's funny, actually, because, yeah, same, like, six-year-old me. It, it's really funny because there was always the, the thing in my family that, like, Chris is incredibly impatient. Chris would not ever sit down for something like that in his life. And meanwhile, this is, like, Here my favorite thing to do. <laughs> like, I built, a, I built a Lego Star Wars thing a long time ago, uh, just back when I was still living in Milton in my living room mm -hmm. or in the dining room, something like that. And any time, while I was building it, the whole time, anyone would come out and see me doing it. I'm like, what? How are you sitting, sitting there this whole time doing that? <laughs> B11. There you are. This one's more complicated than I was expecting it to be. Oh, no. You got this. It's telling me to view from the side. And they'll do that because there's like specific orientation of things or things are shaped very particularly if you look. Yeah, oh, that is very particular. Yeah. So this needs very specifically to go in on this side. Yeah, that's where I'm getting confused with, with this, but I just figured it out. I cut the wrong one out. Did I have it in the wrong position when I plugged that part in? Probably, maybe, I don't know. Oh no. Oh, there we go, we're good. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm just getting wrapped up in the, because I can flick the, what the arm is gonna connect to, mm -hmm. and everything moves. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm starting to get, to, I'm oh, starting to get a little confused. Oh, because that's the other side of the arm. And I'm understanding why this is a more complicated model. What's up? No, I think I figured it out. It's just like these little, there's just like a lot going oh, on. Oh, yeah, it's a lot and some, like, yeah, Arceus is a weird one because all of he's those, like, like, very similar, weird, pointy, kind of rounded shapes and all that. like, I don't know, like, he's got... It's probably the most abstract Pokemon. Yeah, <laughs> he's very geometric, not super intuitive when it comes to... Is the head just connected to, like, straight to a swivel? Yeah, but you can't... Um, oh, but there is a, like... See, there's, like, a bar. Okay. And then you go... And they just do a ball joint then. <laughs> that's... That's so weird. What company makes these? Bandai? Bandai? Okay, and that's the same as Gundam, right? Yep, same as Gundam. Cool. And my 30-minute missions. Nice. Actually, yeah. yeah. It, it turns out that was the other side... Uh-oh. <laughs> that was the other side of the arm mechanism, so... 
that would be why it fell out so easily for one. Yeah, that's cool. Um, okay, so I have that. You won three. I'm almost done with my one of my sheets here. I'm kind of excited by that. That's always like the best part mm -hmm. for me is, when soon, is like I keep waiting for, okay, when's my first sheet done? First sheet done, I'm almost there. It's just feet left on there. Oh, I gotta <laughs> move this. my foot somewhere that I don't kick the phone. <laughs> we got another collar. <laughs> Although my okay. leg is caught on my microphone cord. That'll do it. Yeah, careful with that. All right, I'm putting a leg on Arceus. Is this correct? There, he has a leg now. I would say he deserves legs. He has one leg. I'm very scared by this creature. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Pokemon. You're just making me want one. I, right? <laughs> this is the Pokemon God, by the way. This is, uh, if, <laughs> if you're not considering Bidoof. <laughs> this is the actual Pokemon God. Okay, shit. All right, but question, what was the first Pokemon? I don't, is it, was it not this? Who was the first Pokemon? It, it's, it's whoever you want it to be, really, because, oh. like, there's, it's, it's Mew, there's, it's Arceus, it's Rhydon, because it's the first one that Rhydon. was made. Because it was the first one that was made, like, actual production-wise. Oh. Um, not, like, in Not, lore, like, lore-wise. Yeah. Uh, or Bulbasaur, because it's the first of the Kanto Pokedex. I see. Which is truly the first. Interesting. I'm going to say Arceus. I'm going to say me. Did you say you? <laughs> I'm going to say me. I am a Pokemon. <laughs> okay. So. I didn't even think about the fact that I did just do both of those wings at the same time. Oh. I did and that was not in the That's not in the instructions, instructions. to do it. That's I just funny. did it. A two. Oh. <laughs> Where we're at so far. Coming together nicely. I'm jealous that yours moves. <laughs> okay, now I've forgotten which one is which. Just okay, that's right. Confirming that. Oh, do I? I do. Interesting. It wants me to put the other wing on before I put the other side of the torso on. Interesting. Sure okay. It's on there. B two eight. Make sure everything is all good to go and good and got everything. Make sure that's pushed in all the way. 40 minutes later and I'm getting the hang of this. <laughs> oh god. Had to happen eventually. I like look at I like your little dragonite head on the desk there. <laughs> Just my little decapitated dragonite. Okay. Come on. This piece is coming. There back. we go. See now. Got got something going. It almost looks like from the, from here on the screen to me. It almost looks like a weird blocky Charizard. <laughs> <laughs> so we're so now, oh, uh, going to give him his big old belly. Oh, I'm doing it on the wrong side? Question mark. Yes. Giving him a big old belly. Okay. So it is the prop, like the proper in air quotes way to cut these out is from the bottom. Look at that! Oh, it's freaky. <laughs> I'm scared. This, this thing is an abomination. I love it. This is what's going on the desk. This one's. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, I've done something wrong here. I feel like I might get some comments. What's up? <laughs> is see how it's not like fully sticking in? What did I do? And how do I get um, this out? Hmm. Because it's definitely the correct part. I think so. Yeah, I think I think you're good. I think it's the correct part. It's just having a tight fit thing. It might be something that's aligned a little bit 
wonky. This is not it. Maybe something didn't want to go fully into its home. Oh, I got a sticker. Another sticker? The tongue. All right, I figured it out. That was it. The yellow piece wasn't in fully. Ah. Yeah, that'll do it. See, it's, it's usually never an issue of like, there, is this part up. in the wrong place? It's more of like a, is, is this in? part not fully sitting in how it should be? These really coming together. Wow, this is super exciting. That looks real good. Okay. This tongue piece. Uh, yeah, again, I should have picked it up a different way. <laughs> D213. Actually, this is great. It sits up perfectly for me. It's like a tripod. Oh my god. Not the tongue sticker. 12. Oh my. 13. Well, this is probably the best I'm going to be able to align it. Come on. Off that. We've got. Muhammad is interested now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what we got going on here. I think I put these two together. Right. Oh, that's gonna have to be the best I can get it. Now I need another. Yeah, it's a rough one, this one. Oh. Uh oh. What happened? I poked a hole in the sticker. <laughs> no! Because oh, the way it has to bend and fold and go in, it's so odd. This is another reminder to not buy ones with a bunch of stickers, because <laughs> no way. It's not ideal, but we push on. Uh, I think it's fine. It's his tongue. It'll be inside of his mouth most of the time. Yeah, it's not a big deal. I'm I think sure. I just. Yeah, I just slapped the head right on now. There we go. Yes. <laughs> there he is. I'm like, how do I, oh, is it gonna, how do I do the thing? Will it do the thing? Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, you gotta oh, you gotta no. work for it. You gotta work for it, but Oh, that is so cool. Oh no, he's no. <laughs> oh. He's falling apart. Dude, that's really cool. Dragonite picture. or me. Everyone, all of us. <laughs> yeah. Oops. I'll have to figure that out or glue it in or something later. This is a really small piece. I'm scared. Okay. It doesn't stay in all that well. Oh. Well. Okay, where am I off to next? I uh, can actually start closing up some of this. I see what you mean about like intricate little. Yeah, pieces. oh yeah. Oh, and it's so fun, and I've actually lost it on a couple of my Gundams too. They'll. Um, so actually kind of similar to Arceus here, how he's yeah. got the little yellow, mm -hmm. almost jewel kind of thing. Most Gundam designs, they have a tiny little red, like kind in of the jewel forehead. on the forehead there. I've on a previous one, it just fell out of the oh, head no. and I lost it. And so that one just like, and for me, it's like it throws off the look enough that I'm like, ah. That sucks. Um, sorry, just one moment. Oh, that's stuck. Six and eight. Um, and so, yeah, and then it happened actually again recently on what is my favorite Gundam, but I know where the part is. It's just sitting further back on my shelf because it fell out and I'm not oh, touching it because I don't I want see. it to. I see. <laughs> I'm not risking it. Fair enough. So I need eight and six go together, I believe. Oh, not another one of these doubles. Ugh. Hmm. Oh. Where you don't actually know if you're cutting out the right one. Yeah. Until you try to fit it in. Uh, 
It's not the end of the world. So this all together makes a thigh. Big old dragon thigh. Oh, that was a good snap. Like that, like that. And I will grab the other parts, go ahead and build the other one. Because why not? <laughs> this is so confusing. Okay, <laughs> I figured it And with that, I've emptied out my first sprue. Me too, at the same time. Hey. Yay. Very exciting. Get rid of that. I'm actually putting it over here. So that, that's what I like to do. I'll usually have like my, mm -hmm. my two boxes off to either side. The plastic bags go in one, and plastic bags and trash go in one. Completed parts get out of my way and go into the other. Very nice. Wait a minute. Time for foot. And foot. Kind starting, of almost feet. Starting to build his hind legs here. Oh, almost there. <laughs> now I have to do the same thing and I don't want to. <laughs> uh. It's all right, that's great. We're actually that means, finishing off very close together. That means we're, yes, and we should hopefully be done before we need to wrap up. I say we just go and finish it, because we're so close. Oh yeah, I think we're just about there for sure. So, all right, good. Drag a knight here, put the toes in. Yeah, it's, it's so odd. They have separate parts for like the toes, the claws, but they still have stickers for the underside of the feet. That's just so strange. Hmm. In fact, I'm almost tempted to skip the feet stickers. You could. Nobody's gonna see them. But you'll know. I'll know. I'll know. <laughs> Who will know? I will know. <laughs> That's what matters. Come on. I'm trying not to play with this too much because of the glare. Oh, yeah. It's like when it fights me like this and doesn't want to give me my sticker. Okay. Makes me see red. How does this go? <laughs> Bending the toes backwards. And this one. Goes like this. Oh yeah, right. I can see like if you don't hear that satisfying snap, you probably haven't done it right. Some of the pieces you're just not going to hear it, but yeah, there some, are sometimes ones. they'll just go in and just kind of be there, but like if you don't hear that snap, if it starts mm -hmm. prying itself apart, like might might be worth looking at what happened here. All right, well, okay, I've got one toe sticker done. That's all it is. <laughs> That's silly. Compared to that. <laughs> oh no. Did you miss did you lose something? A toothpick. Oh. I lost it in the crease of my instructions. <laughs> ha, that happens a lot. I'll, I'll, it's finally, it's like sticker time. Oh, sticker time again. Where's my toothpick? Oh, 
I know some people use like tweezers for their stickers. I don't even know yep. how that works mechanically. I know when like with like the 3D card making, people use tweezers a lot. Mm. And so I went out and bought some and then I've, I have still not <laughs> attempted to do that process. Okay, we're getting to this weird wheel part here that goes around the back of his body. And I'm a little nervous for this, but. Uh, oh, there's a green part. I didn't even see these green parts over here. Interesting. Okay, I'm scared. I think what those. Oh, are those for inside the actual circle? They, yes, they go here. The gems. Yep. So that is Dragonite's legs. My boy can stand. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. Both of ours are almost well, alive. He still needs arms, but you know. We're getting there. Okay. Oh, those those legs go very forward. So now I need all these greens. <laughs> these little. <laughs> uh. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> I just love. <laughs> he is adorable. That gets that image gets me too much of him just standing there <laughs> screaming with no arms, no tail. <laughs> Father, help me. <laughs> what have you done? Soon, soon, I'm working, I'm working. Hey. Dude, my fingers can't even like touch, these are so small. Yeah. Oops. Take one, oh. And I'm holding it the wrong way too. A 112. Keep putting it in sideways because I can't even. These are both the same, right? Yes, these are the same. My fingernails are too long to <laughs> these pieces in. What the fuck? This is where tweezers would come in handy. Yeah, there it's the go. tiny parts that really do get yeah. me. Okay. Because it's like, I have to be able to put the pressure on them, but I need them to not stab yep. into my fingers. Exactly. Well, this is interesting. Did I do that right? No. Yeah, no, did you? No, I did not. Oh, it was upside down. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Looks kind of like a pirate ship wheel. But it's just Arceus's ass. <laughs> okay. Um, oh my god, I'm so close to being done. This is the like main. Pretty sure we're in Vermont. What'd you say? <laughs> you said this is the like main, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure we're in Vermont. Close enough. I'm simply being a dick. <laughs> <laughs> we have an Arceus. It is not completely done yet. It needs oh, a boy. tail, because it does not have a little like tail like a dog. <laughs> that would know. be hilarious, <laughs> having a little like a bunny, bunny cotton tail. For the god um, of Pokemon. <laughs> so B2, 22, and then I'm done with this section. You must be almost done too. Just about, I just need the tail after I get these arms on. This is pretty impressive. Sure I got everything, I did. Okay, so the arms, he's having a day. The arms go on very particularly because they have a particular like shape to them. So does that mean I can't rotate the arms? No, there's arm rotation. You just have to get it in after a certain point. I'm on my last piece here. And when I pop this tail on, he's gonna be done. Just needs to be on the stand. He's done! Yo! That is so incredibly satisfying. I'm not, I'm not quite there yet. No, how could you? <laughs> okay, but now I need to now I need to pose him. So his right. little feetzos go in here. Well, I'm gonna fold away the instructions because I'm just about there anyway. And then his this feetzo comes up like this. And this one. It's my A2 done, or my A1, my A, A everything done. There he is. Pretty cute. 
full 360 cam rotation. And there we go. Now, Chris is a, now he's we got a finished friend. at the same time. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yours is so much cooler. Wait, how are you doing that? Flip, His arms? flip the arms up. Yep. Like. Oh, uh, up. Oh. Yep. You're good. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Dude, amazing how. See the size difference in these models. Yep. But we finished right but around we finished the same time. Right around the same time. Which is so interesting. I mean, I guess I, I could like move this guy a little bit more. Like, so he's like up like that. Yeah, yours, yours has a lot more of the posability. That is, an, that is awesome. That is such a cool model. I'm so glad we decided to do Arceus. Well, Your Dragonite get, is so cute. Now I have to get an Arceus myself. Look at really the cool. size difference between these two guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that so much. I wasn't expecting it to move the head, too. Uh, I'm so glad it does. Um, okay, so look at us, 357. Right on time. That was the models. That was really fun. <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad, glad we decided Ooh. to do that. Um, in terms of like, I was a little nervous because like looking at this piece of paper with all the instructions, it's like a little overwhelming when you've never done one before. Yeah. Um, but I... We did it. Like, that probably took us, what, an hour? Right about, yeah. About an hour to build that. All these little pieces that were, that had all these little pieces connected to it. And, um, really, like, that's such a cool thing to just, like, all right, I need something to do. Like, I want to focus on something. Maybe I want to listen to a podcast at the same time. I want to watch a show. But I want to be doing something. Yep. Super fun. And they have like Pokemon models of like all sorts of Pokemon. Oh yeah, all sorts. And I mean like even the, the store, I mean, like I was talking about, they have that whole like, it's basically their their whole model shelf at the very top bit of it. It's mostly like simple models, but it is mostly Pokemon models yeah. right now. <laughs> um, and there was even like plenty in there I was tempted to grab that I was like, oh, I want to build that. I want to build that. I want to build, there's a Solgaleo, there's an Evil Tail. Oh, that's so there, cool. Oh, there's cool, some cool ones and I, I need all of them now. Well, I'm hooked, Chris. Thank you. This was a good. This was a good choice. This was a good way to celebrate ten, epi ten episodes. Ten episodes of Team Yak, the Pokemon podcast, which is hard to believe. I think we started. What, what did we decide last episode? It was March. So it's it like Marchish. It hasn't last quite year. been a year, um, but it's been a long or time. March, March this year. What am I thinking? March of this. Year. March last year. <laughs> it's been a long year. <laughs> um, so. I'm glad we did this. This was very, this is a good way to mark 10 episodes. And we've got another episode coming right around the corner. We're going to do a special Halloween edition of Team Yap. Um, I'm very excited. I won't give away too much of it in case, uh, no spoiler, no spoilers here. Um, but I think you can, you can expect some, some spooky um, happenings going on that has to do with Pokemon um, for that episode. We're going to film that next week so we can have that uploaded by the Halloween, by the That's Halloween. That's the hope. The 31st. <laughs> um, and um, so you can authentically watch that. Um, Chris, did you enjoy that? I loved that. It was great fun. And uh, frankly, I'm enjoying this little guy a lot more than I thought I was going to be. He's I thought very it, sweet. He's tiny, honestly. I mean, I'm going to be real. You're going to see me at my desk a lot just. Playing ah. with it. Yep. Ah. <laughs> I don't blame you. I'll probably like put this guy in different poses. So, all right. Well, that was a lot of fun. That was. Um, I can't remember who wraps up the episode. Is it the uh, person that starts the episode? We, we kind of just, you know, yap Whoever. to it. Yap to it. We just yap to it. <laughs> um, so, thank you for tuning in to episode 10 of Team Yap, the Pokemon podcast. Thank you so much for joining us all this time, these 10 episodes. Yeah. We sincerely, we sincerely appreciate. Your views, your comments, your input. Your Making words. That's how you know we care. We just coined a word, sincerely. So um, we are very sincerious about this episode, uh, about this podcast. Anyways, we hope you'll tune in for episode 11, our special Halloween um, edition of Team Yap, coming in a couple weeks. And in the meantime, keep playing Pokemon. Keep playing po and build your own model because it's fun. 
and build some models. Go go get some like there's there's plenty of like easy quick build ones. They're literally called quick build. Um, super super fun. Super super neat. Yeah, uh, that'll do it for this yap. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.